Well, good morning, James. Good morning, Mr. Hardy. What's the news this morning? I was just reading about a fellow that stayed in the trenches for 20 years after the war and didn't know it was over. <laughs> well, how in the world could anyone be so stupid? I don't know. Here's his picture. Oh. I can't imagine anybody being that dumb. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, I can. Out, oh, please. Thank you. Quite all right. Down, please. I don't see him just now, but you'll find him out there on the grounds somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> Don't get up now. Sit right there. <laughs> How'd you know I was here? Well, I saw your picture in the paper. Did you? Yeah. How'd I look? Well, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of you, too. You know, if I hadn't have seen you, I never would have known you. <laughs> see, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Have you missed me all this time? I certainly have. I missed you, too. <laughs> well, how's things and everything? Oh, everything's just fine. You know, I got married. You don't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you marry, Fifi? No, no. Uh, Lulu? No, no. Camille? No. I know, Fanny. No, no, you wouldn't know her. She's a local girl. Oh. You just wait till you meet her. She's one of the finest little women that ever lived. Don't tell. And can she cook? <laughs> can she? Can she? You just wait till you put your legs under that table. Uh, pardon me. You just wait till you put your leg under that table and put your teeth under one of those big, thick, juicy steaks covered with mushrooms and those hot biscuits oozing with molten butter and those seven-layer chocolate cakes swimming in whipped cream. Any beans? You can have beans if you want them. You can have anything in the world you want. Well, it was nice of you to call, Ollie. Hope you'll come around and see me again sometime. I've got to be going now. Where are you going? Well, it's called for mess, and I've got to eat. 
You are not going in there. You are coming home with me to meet the missus. Am I? And have one of those big, thick, juicy steaks. Thank you, Ollie. You're welcome, Stan. I want you to remember, from now on, my home is your home. Thank you, Ollie. You're welcome, Stan. And I'm never going to let you out of my sight again. Thank you, Ollie. You're welcome, Stan. Uh, just sit back and relax. Gee, I'm sure glad to see you, kid. Gee, Ollie, you know, this is just like old times. You and I been together. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> we sure used to have a lot of fun, didn't we? We sure did. You remember how dumb I used to be? Yeah. Well, I'm better now. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear it. Say, will you wait a minute, Ollie? What do you want? I want to get a drink of water. Now, you sit right there. I'll get the water for well, you. Well, I only want to get over the faucet. I... Well, how can you get over to that faucet? Now, you just sit there and relax, and I'll be right back with you. Come on, Lug, get out of that chair. Oh, but just a minute. What do you mean, insulting my friend? That's my buddy's chair, and I want it. I'll give it to you, and I'm good and ready. Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> well, are you ready to give it to me? On second thought, yes. But don't excite yourself, Stanley. I'll carry you. Just take it. Are you comfortable? Stanley. They haven't got much further to go now. Here we are. Is this your car? Uh, no, it belongs to the missus. Sure is a pretty one. It's practically new. Look, you can see yourself in it. Uh -huh. Come here. Why didn't you tell me you had two legs? Well, you didn't ask me. Get in the car. Well, I've always had them. I don't know. You are better now. <laughs> 